spending the next seven days on just one block in Minecraft. And my goal is to beat the entire game without ever leading this platform. And if you guys can find all 10 hidden blobfish in today's video, you win. And this is the island. So we have zero money. We have literally nothing except what's in the chest in a single tree. And right now, the richest player has almost $400,000. My goal today is to get at least 10 grand. So we got some work to do. We got to be like 99% cautious about this tree here because if I don't get a sapling when it falls, it's over. We got enough wood and just enough to put down our very first crafting table right here and our first pickaxe. Now we need to create the stone generator. This is the part where we get infinite cobblestone and the part where I most likely will mess up. That goes there. I'm Googling this right here, please. Please, thank God. Oh my gosh, I was so scared that wouldn't work. Now we can begin getting some cobblestone. We did it. Our very first cobblestone pickaxe. All right, now we got to be extra careful about this. Make sure we get whatever sapling falls. Come on. I can't. <gasps> We got it. Okay, three saplings. That's a that's a heck of a start right there. I'm gonna put that back to get that growing. Save these because this is extremely valuable. We're not gonna be making any sales yet. We're gonna be expanding our island at the moment because we do want a little bit more space here to play with. We got eight pieces of cobblestone. Here's the idea. I can use this cobblestone to build out just a little bit here. And then if I get a little bit of dirt and relocate it and replace this with cobblestone. Oh God, that's a f okay. Well, all right. So we're back in spawn. Lots of players here, of course. And I'm gonna look for an opportunity to make some money here. There should be a, there he is. This guy is the mines guy. Now, the server has four different unique mines where you basically go in, can explore, and make some money. So in the mines, you can just literally mine these ores that respawn every couple minutes on the side. But you got to be careful because there's a lot of crazy custom mobs in here that will absolutely wreck you. And those come in handy later to get to even more advanced mines. But for now, let's just get some iron because I do want to upgrade. The problem is people are going to snag all the diamond. And so there's going to be a fierce competition for diamond at this level. So I don't know if we're going to get any, but I have enough now, I think, to go back to my island. So with these ingots, we can create almost, I believe, an entire full set of iron, which is sick. Okay, we have a full iron. This stuff is still growing. We're going back to the mines to get some more gear. So I literally see no diamond. Oh, look at this. One of the custom mobs, a mine golem. Excuse me, sir. Now I think these drop some pretty legit items. Did I get any? Nothing. Nothing. They have a chance to drop some rare items. Every time I see a custom mob, I will definitely be fighting it. There's a spider bee over there. Try to kill that bad boy. This is weird sky block. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go ahead and take it down. There it is. Oh, no, no, no. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, look at that. He gave us four cobweb. Oh, I don't know if that'll come in handy, actually. I'm not sure why I'm excited about that, but uh, it's still cool at the very least. Oh, there's diamond right there. Call me. We got one. Oh, there's more. No, no, no. This is big because if I can get a diamond pick, then we'll break things even faster and this will really propel our speed. But oh God, got to kill you. Okay. I honestly don't care. They kill it. I'm getting the diamonds. It's not bad though. You know what I mean? We got a couple diamonds. It oh, there's one. <laughs> it's parted by a mine golem. Come here, baby. No, no. I want it. Did I get any rare items yet? Oh, I did. Mushroom fragments. I'm gonna explain what those do in a second. These are sick items that help us unlock future mines. We're gonna go back to spawn. This is where we can walk up to the merchant and legitimately sell our items. It's a way we're probably gonna start making money early in the series. So I'm gonna click to sell and I can sell these for $19, 9, 18, 5, 12. It's not great. But it's something. Okay, we got $60 now. That's not bad. Starting from zero all the way up to 60. Now can we buy anything? Like I need to invest all of this to make more cash early on. To me, I feel like the best route is to get some crops and start growing them and selling them. So I think our best item right now is the beetroot. They sell for $1.31 each, <laughs> which is not a lot. But if I had a couple hundred of them, it would be. So I need $193 now to invest in. Dang, that's tough. I'm going to go back to the mines then. They respawn in eight seconds. So if I learn where the diamonds are, I can rapidly collect a lot of diamonds. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. Here comes the money. Here comes the cash. God, this is fun. <laughs> I'm going to lie to you. We freaking made a good server. I'm getting excited. I want to get these next mines unlocked, bro. It's going to take days though. There we go. Level 10. Let's go. I'm trying to decide. Should I keep the diamonds for now? I feel like maybe I should to get like a full diamond set of tools. I think that's going to be an investment. You know what I mean? Like I could sell it, but I think if I keep the diamond, I'll sell the rest. Okay. Ors respawn in 40 seconds. I'm trying to get to another good position for one more round of respawns. And I also want to try to kill some mobs here because we need to get like legitimately hundreds of these mushroom fragments. Oh, there's one. This one's mine. <laughs> Oh, another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't get any fragments. We did get some web, and that's okay. All right. Web will probably be useless, but that's fine. <gasps> They're back. Don't you attack me, B. Oh, the mine goal. Man, we're literally just going crazy right now in here. All right. This thing actually is freaking tanky. Oh, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Need some help. Oh, God dang, I died. Freaking mine golem killed me and now I lost my chance to get diamonds. I didn't realize they were that strong or I'm that weak. Definitely gonna keep the diamonds because we can make a diamond sword now. Back home, guys. Let's make our first diamond sword. We can kill those mine bosses easier. We have 60 bucks, but I think when we sell stuff, we might get closer to our goal. Let's sell everything. All right, let's see what we can do. $60 for the lapis. They're about a dollar each. This doubles our money. We're now up to 120 bucks. These are worth a dollar each as well. These are also a dollar each. 
$29. I have two diamonds. I'll make a diamond shovel. I, like I said, guys, I got to get the diamond tools, all right? I briefly got to invest into it early on. It's a necessary, necessary choice here. $248, which means we can now begin investing into growing the infrastructure more back at home. So I'm going to go to the shop and I want to make sure we buy the right item. Like I said, I think beetroots are going to make us the most money. We got one. We got one single beetroot. I guess we'll make it right here. How do you plant these? Wait, no. Don't tell me I bought the root instead of the seed. Am I stupid? I accidentally bought the beetroot, not the beetroot seed. I did it backwards. And the beetroot seeds, the good news is they're a lot cheaper than the beetroot to buy. That's a big mistake. We're going back to the mines. I think lapis is our best money maker because it's a dollar each, but mining one gives you more than one. Okay, we got to lock in on lapis. Lapis is our best money maker. Each one of these lapis is worth a lot more than the rest. Oh, a double, a double diamond. We found it. A triple diamond. This is a good spot to be in. And we got a big fat three stacks of lapis. That's a sick looking weapon. Maybe we should work towards that thing. Holy cow. I'm gonna take that right off your hands. All right, 64 each. Keeping the diamonds for now. We're selling this, selling this, selling this. And honestly, I'm going to keep the beetroot because I'm ashamed of what I did. Finally, let's buy our beetroot seeds because this is going to make the money. How many can we get? Four. So we can finally start selling diamonds after this. I just have to make the final piece of diamond tools. And now we have full set of diamond. And we literally started with nothing but this little tiny island here. And we can plant some beetroots. Oh, you know what? I do need a diamond hoe. I know it's a bad investment, but it's just principle, guys. Always make a diamond hoe. Look at it. Oh, it's stunning. It is really, truly stunning what we've done with the place here. This looks phenomenal. The problem is, though, if each of these is only a dollar, we have four of them. We really do need literally hundreds just to buy another. It's it's a long game here. Oh, an apple. Sick. That's 50 bucks. Maybe I'm wrong about the beetroots. Maybe beetroots are like a passive income. But maybe if I grow a bunch of oak trees and collect apples, that one apple is worth 50 beetroots. There we go. $54. We're getting back on track, guys. 57 smackaroonies of wood, my friends. We can actually expand the island now, which is kind of nice. This will allow us to place more of these saplings spread out. All right. I have also have pumpkin seeds. I guess we'll plant these to try to make some cash money here. So we got like a nice little farm here growing up. That'll make us some money long term. Infinite water source. Let's make one. I think it's time we do something like that. Ah, now we're talking infinite water. That was a big play. I feel like I probably should have done that a lot sooner, but we need a new way to make money because we're not really making much cash at the moment. So what I'm going to do is try to flip some items. This is the auction house. Players can list literally any item they want and sell it to you. Generally, they'll sell it to you for a better deal than the shop. That way you buy here. All right, let's get back to the mines. We actually managed to pull seven diamonds right now. That's actually pretty sick. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it, guys. We're going all in on the diamonds. Like I said, we're now upgrading to diamond armor. That is sick. We could sell it to make a little money, but I think short term, it's just you got to keep investing back into the business. And that's what we're here to do today. All right, we got a decent amount of gear from that trip. We're going to sell it all, I think. I feel like getting 10,000 today is optimistic, man. If I got to 10,000, I'd be like in the top 30 players on the entire server. And there are hundreds right now. There's 45 pages. I'd be on page three or four. 10K is extremely optimistic, but I'm still gonna do my best to get it. We need to be smarter. Block of quartz. Does that sell? <gasps> it does. Look at that. Up to $300, guys. We're at $300. Oh, can we buy anything new with that? I'm gonna go check out spawn here. All these guys flexing with their fancy armor. I feel like I'm a noob. <gasps> Okay, I spent all my money on 13 eggs. I just realized we could do something crazy with these eggs because then we can get chicken, feathers, and more babies. It's like the only way to get animals, dude. I, I do want to make like a fence here, ideally. This is gonna be a really tiny fence. We are pushing it here for resources. 13 eggs. Now, this could be a make it or break it moment for us because if these eggs do not spawn baby chickens, it's over. Let's go. <gasps> we got one. All I need is two. Oh, we got two. All right, 300 bucks for two chickens. Honestly, <laughs> that was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. There's really no way to round that one. That was a terrible deal, but they'll grow up, they'll make babies, and we'll have a massive chicken farm. So we have a lot of early on investments here, but no payoff, and we're broke again. All right, after hatching some eggs, I decided to go back into the mines and spend a lot of time here doing this so that I can earn more ore, so that I can make more money, so that I could actually become the richest player on the server. All right, we have enough iron to actually create our first anvil, which is going to be sick. Yes, there it is, baby. I don't really know why I wanted it, because like- It's not like I can use it. But it's more of like- a flex. Like, yeah, I got an anvil. Anything else I can make that I need? The answer is not really. No, there's not a lot here, but there is two little happy chickens, isn't there? Look at you little guys, huh? Oh, uh, now I'm going to sell my items. So let's make some cash again. $411. Each trip, we make a little more. And each time we come back, we have a little more to reinvest into our space. With our newfound $400, we can now see if there's anything new in the shop we can invest into. Early on, we can at least buy some diamond now if we want it. But no one's going to buy that because they can get diamond in the mine. So it's a bad investment because the market is going to be too hot. I mean, there's just so much competition to get the best items. It's going to be really difficult to get in there. Look how lovely this place looks. I could do more chickens. Let's see. We've gotten creative so far. <gasps> Potions. 
Potions. Potions could be a very unique investment because nobody is making them yet. I would have the market completely cornered if I invested into potions. Problem is you need glass and for glass you need sand and I have no sand at all. So I'd have to buy the sand, which is 12 bucks a pop. So I would have to invest about $36 per bottle. I think, I honestly think it's a long-term play. I think there's money to be made here. I don't see anyone doing this strategy. I really believe this could be huge for us. We're gonna pop it down. We're gonna buy some glass here. Now we can make our six bottles, fill these up. This could be interesting. I'm not sure which one we're gonna make here. We also need blaze powder, which I don't know if we can buy. $85 for a blaze rod. They're scamming me here, dude. We're gonna have to sell this for so much money to make a profit. Now I need to Google what to make. Now we gotta buy another wart. $386 each to buy? I think if I do this right, it's possible I could sell it for like three to $5,000. Let's make it happen. So I went back to the mines another time to earn just a little bit more money so that I could get the ingredients I needed so I could build the potions. I'm gonna sell some more items. Here we go. And we should have just enough to finally buy what we need. Let's go. We can now put inside our nether ward into this and this should begin brewing our potions that we can then turn into the ones that we want, which means we need a golden carrot, uh, which we don't have. Awkward potion. Now let's see. What do I want to make? I don't have enough for the carrot, so I can't really do that, but I think it would be worth it. One quick trip to mines. Later. Yes. Finally. Finally. I think we can finally make it. Oh my God. One carrot. Let's go back to our island. The golden carrot. Let's freaking go. And then a spider eye, which I don't have. There it is. The fermented spider eye. Oh my God. All I need to complete this and really max out this potion is a single piece of redstone, which I can grab immediately from the mines in like five seconds. Here it goes. Oh. Let's go, baby. Three of these, okay? Three of these potions, eight minutes each. Is that right? This is going to sell for some fat money. I want to try to be very ambitious and hit my goal of $10,000 today by listing them around $3,000 each. $3,300. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. $3,300. I'm going to list all of them for that same price. So guys, the bait has been set. We have three invisibility potions for $3,300 each. If these sell, we will hit our goal of making $10,000 today from literally nothing. Which is kind of insane. <gasps> Guys, someone just bought two potions. We just need to sell. Oh, we just did it. There it is, guys. I had to just refresh it for the money to appear. I have $9,909. So I need literally like 81 bucks and we did it. And finally, for my last trip of the day, I went to the mine so I could hit my goal of earning $10,000. Come on. Boom. Did we get it? We got it. We got it. We got it. If there's anything super strong I could buy, I'd love to get another right ingot because that'd be cool to make some better armor to do dungeons. But I think for now, guys, we hit our goal of $10,000. Just like that, we literally have already expanded our tree farm like three times what it was already. So that's going to help us supply the base growth. And the bigger the base gets, the more money making strategies we can create in here. So I'm going to take a trip to the store and see if there are any new items that we can buy that might help us. Like, for example, grass is important, but dirt is cheaper. And I, I'll, I'll be fine with dirt. So a stack of 64 dirt is $346. I'm going to buy that. All right. That's a good trade. And then I also would like to buy the saplings, just one of each so that I can start on this super farm. All right, we got it. This is actually pretty sick. Let's go back to our island. So I'm going to try to space it out correctly. And I really don't know like how far they have to be. <laughs> I never looked that up. So I'm going to assume this is far enough. Call that a day. And then uh, again, I don't know all the space. I, I don't know. I don't know. Three seems like a good enough space. We'll test it and see. Now, here's one way that I could make money from these trees. If you buy a stack of 64 saplings on the market, they cost about $300 for a stack. No, they cost $300 each. $20,000 for a stack, which means if players are trying to buy a stack, I could sell 64 of these for 15,000, undercut this by five and make a huge profit. What's even better about that is nobody's doing the strategy. Everybody needs wood. Nobody wants to buy it at 20K. This might be one of the best investments actually ever. I think it's huge, yo. We gotta, we can, we gotta build up this tree infrastructure ASAP. Like we could literally make so much money. Everybody needs wood. Like you have to get a product everyone wants. These are literally $300 a piece. If I were to list it at like two 75 250 each i can make money so let's try to do this math this would go for a 1500 so i'm going to sell it for 1000 and i'm going to see if someone buys these if they do this is a confirmation that our new money making strategy works and we could make a ton oh someone bought it someone just bought the trees for a thousand dollars which means the strategy is legit did i leave some wood god dang it i think what i'll do is i'm going to expand the water this way starting here oh this all <laughs> no, no i just realized all this wood needs to be dirt in order to make a farm the literally the entire thing i have to replace god all right let's fix it. Okay. Now we can plant our... <gasps> Oh, I'm starving. Oh, we don't even have food, do we? Doesn't have watermelons? Where'd they go? Oh, I turned them into seeds. <laughs> I turned my only food into seeds. We're literally starving out here in order to pull this off, but it's okay because now we can plant six more watermelons and that'll at least sustain us food wise for a little bit. And I guess on the other side, I'll go ahead and do sugarcane. Now we have an actual farm. I do want to get rid of the entire farm here and kind of all extend it out. Oh my gosh, I'm starving again. Food's going to start being an issue now, I feel like at this point. <laughs> you know what? I just realized this is my cobblestone gen. I don't think I need it anymore, to be honest with you. But I'm going to keep the lava just in case. Now, earlier in the video, I bought this gobble fishing rod, which 
which has luck of the C2, lure one, unbreaking five. It's a really strong fishing rod, and I don't know if it's gonna work great, but I'm gonna go to the mines here and see if we can do a little fishing and maybe collect something rare. So let's give it a shot. This cost me a good amount of money, so if I don't make back like a thousand dollars on this, I literally wasted so much on a rod for nothing. I'm gonna fish for 10 minutes and see what I get. 10 minutes, see what comes in. So far, zero. A fish. Another fish. Another fish. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We, we're walking away with nine cod, three salmon, and a single tropical fish. Honestly, end of the day, I think it was a terrible waste of time. I don't think fishing is gonna be the move unless you invest massive time into it, but I think slowly we'll build up to that point. We now have pretty much the biggest tree farm on the server. I don't think anyone has anything remotely close to the size of this. So I had 11 beetroot seeds, so I expanded it by 11. This allows us to do more pumpkin seeds, more melon seeds. Are these melons or pumpkins? Actually, it doesn't matter. We'll just freaking do both. <laughs> oh, this looks so nice, man. In order to make a lot of money, I want to go run up and do a dungeon. Now, a dungeon is a guy found at the very top of this building up here, which allows you to go into some secret room, kill a very incredibly powerful boss, and then you can get some strong drops from it. Problem is, the dungeons right here cost $7,000 to do. They recommend three to five people for this battle, and that's tough. So if I jump into a dungeon now in full iron, I'm going to get dominated. So I want to get better armor. In order to do that, I need like 15 grand. Then I could buy the armor and afford the dungeon. So guys, it's been a few hours, and I'm back, and uh, I thought I'd turn shaders on to give the island just a nice little fresh look. I've let the game run for about two hours because I wanted to come back and collect the gear and, and wood and everything and see what we could build with it. So now we've got our first full harvest of the sugarcane farm. We've got a full beetroot farm and we now get to do the most important thing, which is expand our island again. And we just need to make a little bit more money. So I think if we expand it one more time, we should have enough to go into one of the dungeons, kill one of the dungeon bosses with some decent armor and start farming those dungeons for cash. Cause I think that might be one of the best ways to make money here. Guys, one thing I forgot to do is that there's a daily crate. Every Every eight hours or every day or something, you get a free key. You could actually unlock a really good item here, which could help us if we get lucky. Okay, none of our trees are growing. So what I'm going to do now is go open up that daily key and see what we get. And if I play long enough, I might get another one. I'm not sure. But uh, let's take a look at what the items are that we could win. I think there's like some big potential here. Look at this, like a, a really cool Loverfella logo shield, right? Some swords, some spawn eggs. You could get some junk too, but like, I'm just going to go for it and see what we get. <laughs> let's see. Fingers crossed, guys. Come on. Music disc. All right, not exactly the best win I've ever seen, but it's something. Does a pumpkin have to have dirt to grow? I genuinely don't know. I'm gonna buy some. Oh, coarse dirt. That's not what I wanted. No, I just bought 64 coarse dirt for 693. Bro, what am I gonna do with this? Okay, well, that was a waste of a thousand dollars. There's our regular dirt. All right, let's get this farm expanded. Yo, this is kind of cool. All right, let's get our wood. Okay, so we harvested almost all the trees and got like multiple stacks of wood for huge expansions. We got enough saplings to replant everything pretty much at the exact same time. So the tree farm strat is actually pretty incredible, I think. it's Again, it's a long-term play. It should pay off. Actually, you know what? We might as well expand the farm this way. This will be the path. This right here could be all sand and it could be the cactus part, right? We could just have literally every farm we want right here off to the side. So the best way to do that is with water. Um, It is dark right now, but if I put a little bit of water down, oh, this is going to be painful. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. So this sand's gonna go there, and then more of this right here. That way nothing can be built here. We're still a long shot for making $50,000. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Now, we have to go buy some sand. I'm just gonna buy a stack of 64. It's almost $1,000, but that's the only way that I know of to get sand in Skyblock right now. So maybe a different type of wood for fun, you know? A little bit of a more desert-themed wood, something like that. Now, we can move this stupid cactus over and never have to worry about this dumb thing falling off the edge again. <gasps> Whoa, did I get that? Oh, I did. Bro, that's actually like a super expensive helmet. Did I just snag that? Dude, I think this is like a $9,000 helmet. I just got it for $900. Look at the enchantments on this, dude. Oh, I'm gonna take this too. I'm gonna buy that too. I'm making some investments right now, guys. It's gonna pay off, I hope. I should buy this axe, actually. It's $1,500. It's a good investment because that axe is way better than mine. $900! The whole set's $900! Who's doing this? Shoot, I'm taking the hoe, man. I'm gonna literally buy everything they put on the store because they're selling it for such a good deal. That is insane! I genuinely have no idea how no one bought that. Okay, so take a look at what I just got. I'm gonna go to my collection area here. We got Unbreaking 3 hoe, which I don't think I needed that, but I got it. Look at these pants. Look at this armor. And look at this axe. And I bought this thing, which is a shield wall. It's a custom enchantment that blocks 
Plus all incoming damage for 1.5 seconds. So it worked. Now we actually have some pretty insane gear and we're actually geared up, surprisingly, to be able to kill the boss that I wanted to kill. This is insane, dude. Oh my gosh. I gotta go test this out on a tree. Oh my lord. There's another special thing we can do and it's actually to set up a mailbox. This is legit, guys. You can set up a custom mailbox on your island or wherever you play on the server and then people can actually send you mail by just sending you things. So I put the mailbox up right now. I'm not expecting people to send me any mail, any letters or items or anything, but I will put it there just in case someone wants to. So I need to make $7,000. So I'm actually going to try to do something I haven't done yet, which is offer someone a service. So guys, after talking to some players, this guy said he'll hire me for $7,000 to fill up all these holes with water. So I'm going to be his servant today and fill these holes up with water for some money. This is not the most glorious way to make money, to be honest with you, but gets the job done, I guess. So guys, he just paid me $7,000. We filled up uh, a decent amount of this. It was kind of honestly like the worst job ever but that means we now have the money to go into the dungeon so guys it's time to literally go to our first dungeon and see if we can kill the first dungeon boss let's get there and uh we talk to this guy right here to begin let's start the dungeon you can see all the dungeon info on the sidebar right there we got to be super careful here very careful no damage no damage no damage no okay so far we have 27 gold nuggets 17 bones and that is the minion overlord 1200 health Oh, God, no. All right, first step, kill the minion. First step, kill the minion. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Watch the stalactites. Don't get hit by those. Easy hit, back away. Come on, come on. As long as he doesn't hit me or face me. I, I, oh. That is going to one-shot me if it hits me is the problem. So, too close, too close. No, 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 no. I need water. I didn't bring any water. I didn't know we did fire damage. Okay, now he's floating. He's floating in the sky. Watch it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Watch it. Health slow, health slow. We're good. I just used invulnerability, dude, and it actually just worked right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was actually sick. Blue flame, blue flame, blue flame. That's new. Okay, he's he's actually he's actually just upgraded his power, I think. Okay, that goes every direction now. No? Oh, he withers you? Bro, he withers you now? Oh, God, that did so much damage. Oh, God, that did so much damage. If he hits me with another wither, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, he knocked me in the corner, bro. I had him so low. Wait a minute. Is he still here? He's still here. I think I lost a lot of my loot and my prize now went down drastically, but at least he's still here. I'm just gonna have to like go all in. I feel like, come on, come on. Just a couple more. I think I can knock him out. I think I can knock him out. Come on. I can't die again. I'm gonna get nothing. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay. We have 50 seconds. So we actually got, oh, we got a uh, diamond sword with a six skin on it. So it's some sort of like razor blade sword here. And we got 24 enchanted golden apples from that. So the apples are about two and a half grand. The sword that I got is um, going for another two and a half. So this is about five grand right here. Oh, you know what? It seems that we also gained money from that dungeon. I don't know for sure where that came from. We're up to 9,000 and it cost me seven. So if we actually gained money, which I'm not sure, but if we did, then this was a mega win. A six sword, 24 gapples, glistening things. Beat Bro, this was absolutely insane. Our goal today was to make $50,000, but I think getting these items, the dungeon and our farm set up like this isn't even better goal because now we're set up for a successful future. Here's what I managed to collect for my morning harvesting. We got uh, a bunch of random items, to be honest with you, and let's see what it worth. So if I were to sell all of this right now, it would net us $225, which isn't a lot considering the richest player on the server right now is sitting at $17 million. So I don't know that this is the best strategy to become the richest player, but the good news is I don't know what the good news is. <laughs> oh boy, this is very tiny actually. Maybe we'll make this just the front door and then you can walk this way down a hallway and this will be the little tiny chest room here. It's 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 small guys, all right? We gotta be careful. We only have so much woods. Look at this. We look uh, less newbie. <laughs> okay. Here's the completed base guys with the roof and everything. Don't worry about the unevenness. It's just pretend like it's not there and it's not there, all right? That's mentally what you gotta do. And these will be windows whenever I obtain some glass. So now that we have a base and we have a safe spot to store things, I'm just gonna move the rest of the stuff inside and clean up the outside a little bit. I am going to get just a little bit more money and go kill one of the Minecraft dungeon bosses on this server. They're like custom bosses. If you kill them, you can get some really good prizes. I'm gonna see if I can farm it and make some bank this morning. All right, we are now at the Minecraft spawn and up here is a little bit of something special. Let's journey on up here. Oh, look at that island ranks. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be on that yet. Now, before I go to this giant dungeon arena and kill a crazy dungeon boss, I am going to open up our daily crate, see if we can win something today. See if we get anything here. What'd we get? Bottle of enchanting? Um, wow, 32 of them. Okay, $10,500. These are the things we could win here. So we're gonna get in the dungeon, guys, see what we can do here. I'd really need to win something great because this is one of my early money making methods today. So let's go ahead and go to this guy. We're gonna just click start and uh, yeah, we're gonna get in there. We should be good with the sword, I hope. God dang, god dang, god dang. Boys, is the ax better? Like, should I just straight up use the ax? Just start critting him? 
I think it is, man. Skeleton Overlord is going to be a pain, but this round we're going to have a lot more food. And maybe we can get enough money to actually go to the next level of dungeon, which is even harder. God, it's already up there. Come on. Give me the crits. Give me the crits. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, I didn't know he could come out this far. I thought he was stuck up there. Yo, chill, my guy. Chill, my guy. <laughs> he's actually fully leaving his little zone up there. I don't think he's allowed to do this. I'm killing every minion because each one of these can drop items that are worth money. I'm trying to get that money. Dude, I literally... Oh, he dropped... I think he dropped diamonds. Diamond blocks. Diamond blocks. That's going to be worth a lot, dude. I actually need that because I don't even have diamond boots. That is worth a lot of money. Every minion's now dead. We're at 2 minutes and 25 seconds here, and now I got to kill the overlord. Blue fire, blue fire. Let's back up. Let's take an apple. Yo. Let's go, baby. And we got the rare sword again, which is worth a lot of money. We did it in three minutes, 45 seconds. We're going to see if we get some cash too. Three diamond blocks. Let's go. So we got hooked up with 27 diamonds. It's enough to at least make some better diamond boots. So we're going to pop that in right now. Little upgrade. Oh, and a challenge complete. That's going to be some more free money in the future. This is great. We have actual diamonds in the backup chamber. This is our first set of diamonds here. And some more bones to add, which we might be able to use to get a dog. The only downside is we didn't get any money for that win. And so we really lost a uh, immense amount. So we're going to have to go pick up a random job here today. Guys, so my first uh, odd job job here. This guy said, if I harvest this ice, I'm allowed to keep it and sell it. We are now a ice harvester for today. That's the next job. Let's put on our ice harvesting cap and get to work. Um, problem is I don't have a way to harvest this as far as I know. Nope. I need silk touch. Each ice is worth seven bucks each. Okay, this is actually some decent money. <laughs> All right, guys, we're now ice harvesting. Let's make some bank. The water's kind of annoying. I feel great right now. These odd jobs are going to really get us a level up here. Sheesh. I should mention my AC is still broken in my new house. Uh, so it's really hot and sitting around here mining ice feels great. I'm mining every block. I will not leave one left. This is all free money for me. Okay, let's we'll see how much we've made. So far, all of this ice is worth $6,100. $6,000. Okay, this is amazing money making. Holy crap. So I literally cleared out the entire ice farm, except that one block and back there, and there's one floating. Now, I have no idea how this guy managed to make this on his island. I don't know how we got his island to be winter themed, but that is something we definitely need to learn from. And let's see if there's any other ideas for me. Oh, a sheep farm. That would be great to get my own meat supply, an enchanting table room. This is really what I'm aspiring to get to, but let's go ahead and sell our ice. Thanks for the axe, buddy. I appreciate it. That's all yours for now, unless you give it back to me. Oh, let's go. Oh, another. I'm going to give him his payment, though. Uh, he wanted one stack of ice for payment, so I think that's a, a great deal for him. And now we're going back, and I'm going to see if I can figure out how exactly my boy managed to pull this off. Okay, let's sell the ice and see how much in total money we got from this odd job right here. We're going to sell the ice, the gold, and I'm actually going to keep the bones because, like, the only way to get those is to go to the dungeon, so I'm going to just put those in here. Those could be useful, again, for later. <gasps> Yo, this guy gave me a free pickaxe, too, for helping him work. $9,000 for that. We're back up to 10.8K. So, literally, we're back to where we were right before we went to the dungeon, but now we have some extra items to help us out along the way. $10,000 isn't going to cut it, but I do have money now to play in the market. So let me see if I can find any quick deals. Loverfellas current AC. Someone is selling my current air conditioning and it's literally broken. It's just a white block. Uh, it's snow. My AC is snow. All right, next job, guys. I found a player named Azriel and they're giving me a hoe. They're going to give me a really cool Minecraft sword if I hoe all of this for them. <laughs> oh, this is awful. These are literally bottom of the barrel jobs, but someone's got to do it. And I guess it's me right now. We're doing whatever it takes to make money. This guy doesn't have enough water because the thing gets getting unfertile my guy. You need more water. You can't just hoe this when you don't have enough water or it's all going to break. You're putting me on a job that's impossible. <laughs> oh. Ooh, my finger's hurting. They keep re-breaking. They're re-breaking. I've already done this part. Okay, done, 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 done. Throw me the sword. Oh, he's literally looking at the pieces I missed. Bro, give me the sword, please. Oh, we did it. We did it. Let's go. And he gave me a bonus, some mushroom uh, fragments there. These are, of course, used to upgrade the mines, which will get us some money later. Look at our new pickaxe. Efficiency five. Bro, we're cooking. I'm picking up another odd job here, and I feel bad because I'm really selling my body for this one. But someone offered me $30,000 to kill me, and he's going to be the first player to do it, but it's $30,000. And I feel like it is a little bit of an undersell. So this guy, this guy literally wants to kill me. I'm going to let him do it for 30 grand. There it is. We're dead. So that guy just killed me. He literally wants to be on the Skyblock Hall of Fame for 30K. We're up to $42,000. Did I sell my body? Yes. Am I proud of it? No, I'm not. It's not the most honorable thing to have done, but I did what I had to do. There's new items in the spawn that I can now buy, which is going to help us expand even more. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the merchant here because there are some new things we should be able to buy, which includes... Okay, a chicken spawner. I could buy a pig spawner. I could buy a sheep spawner. I could buy... Sheep is the only one that gives me value outside of... Like, oh, but that's like all my money. I have so many things to show you right now, guys. It's a great day right now on the server. So now I can also type daily. Every time I join, I get a daily reward. So I'm going to claim this one. And I got a mending book and two pig spawn eggs. Tomorrow, I get $5,000. We're also going to do daily key because this gives us another free item. And we're going to see what we win here. Hopefully something busting. Name tag. Auctioneer, bro, we got custom signs here. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know we could do that. 
I bought a sheep spawner. Honestly, I low key feel like it might've been a bad idea because it was all my money, but this is a good upgrade. This is the growth line, the growth story that you guys are. Why do I have 41 of these? That kid dropped me. I'm going to store this here because I feel like I actually, I shouldn't have had it. I'm going to replay that footage. I don't know where I got it. Okay, so with the sheep spawner, I think we need to place it on grass. And I guess uh, our farm area is over here. So what I can do is go to our shop, buy a whole bunch of grass for $594 and create a little sheep spawner zone here. Oh, wow. That was a weird sound. Nice. My guy. Welcome to the torture chamber. You know, you look in different directions. Same. A little bit of a spruce wall on the edge. All right. Then we put a fence post around it, which is going to help us significantly create an ultimate base here. And these things will keep spawning forever. So like literally we have seven right now. So I think it goes up to like hundreds. So I could get like hundreds of sheep. But now when I kill this over a very long period of time, not only do I get a bunch of experience, I also get free wool and free food. So now we have an unlimited food farm. We have real food farms. And these guys, honestly, I feel like low key, we got to move you. But like, honestly, I think I'll just slaughter you and get a chicken spawner at some point when I can. We have like some good money making methods. I feel like now we have the farm, we have all this, but we're not competing with the top of the top. And that's what concerns $29 million, right? Obviously it's going to ramp up, but this guy's so far ahead. Like it goes 29, 18 and three. This guy found some secret way to make money and no one else knows. Now I also do want to say, I do have these two pig spawn eggs. So what I'm going to do is create a temporary pig farm right next to this one sharing the same dimensions uh so the bad news is i don't have enough to fill in the holes here so the pigs are going to unfortunately have a slightly ugly base temporarily all this early on investing just to have a sustainable source of food and stuff is really honestly quite difficult because doing it with no money is a challenge i feel like i'm getting great reset every day welcome gentlemen to your new home Oh, muddy pigs. I forgot I had a texture pack on from a previous video. There we go. Now they're normal. Guys, pig farm, sheep farm. Was this worth my money? Um, I, I borderline want to say no. Melon farm is the answer people are saying. Everyone's selling melon farm. And so it seems to me like melons are actually a great investment. So I think we're on track with that. I only have $33. What was I thinking, dude? Spending all my money on that. And it doesn't look like I have any mail either. I'm going to have to sell the diamonds, man. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to go to spawn and sell them at the NPC. I'm going to see if there's anything new here that could make me some cash because I really need to level up some. So guys, I was just kind of standing here letting my uh everything spawn and grow and we sold one of our uh sets of seeds right there so my strategy did work as long as you undercut the market with the cheapest sale doesn't matter what it is you can make a little profit so we're back up to that'll update in a second i think we'll have just over two thousand dollars to potentially flip a base with which isn't too bad so my last idea today to make some money is if i leave this stuff listed overnight i should be able to make a profit then when i join next time if i'm at three to five thousand dollars that should be enough to let us flip an entire minecraft base with that money limited but i have to get creative with it so what i'm gonna do is take this this so this is for 5k we'll do 499 so if that sells that's huge money and i think that is enough so i'm gonna let this stuff sit we're gonna end it here next episode we're gonna see if we have enough money to start flipping a minecraft base guys the first thing is i need to organize my team we got so many people sitting here and doing nothing let's get a to-do list board made immediately they don't even know what i'm doing they just start to help this is what i love about it there we go, guys. We got the to-do list. Step one, we need to delete and move the mob spawner because it's ugly. Look at that. That is not what a million dollar base has. This guy's already off to do it. Look at that. The speed. I'll hire the best people. Step two, clean up messy areas all over. You, begin. Step four, expand the island using dirt and wood. All right, we need a bigger island to sell it for a million dollars. Could be more than a million once we get this done. Finally, create some sick selling points like a PVP arena or something fun. That's just what we have for now. There's a lot to do, but I think the first thing that I need to work on is cleaning up some of the additions we've made that are a little bit too much. That's part of the process when you have this many people on an island. So I've got two daily keys, and if I type daily key, I get a third right now. So I have three of these to open up the daily crate and maybe get some good items. Before I open that though, I gotta show you guys this. This is the new mob spawner moneymaker. Take a look. This unbelievable design uses a miner that automatically mines every ore that's placed here. And it uses an upgraded cobblestone generator, which is now max level. This thing is worth like a million dollars on its own, not to mention all the rest of the island that we've built, which means I don't even know if I want to sell this. So I need to make a decision today if I actually want to sell this island because it's so unbelievably powerful now. I mean, look at this. I can sit here and just get infinite emerald and diamond blocks. Do you understand how much money we can make just by grinding? So I think what's going to happen today is we need to upgrade this and make it a little more efficient. We have this just nasty design. We got all these furnaces back here. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of work here that I need to do to make this look better. There we go. Look at this new flooring down here. Like we literally went from nothing to whatever this is. And the thing is, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to make sure it does. 
So here is the new furnace area. All we have to do now is bring the hoppers down and start filling the furnaces out. And then it's infinitely scalable down the wire here. I'm going to use these hoppers. I only have a few. And that sucks because I need more. Lover, drag quick boy in this VC. Guys, how we looking? How we looking right now? I love a fella. I got a question down here. Is my furnace system going to work? No, because, because uh, I don't because know because I can't you see need it. the hoppers Let above it and then under it. it. Can you fix this? I just want it to be underground. I want it to look good. Can you help me fix this? Yeah, I do it. I'm going to let them do all the automating parts because they seem to be a little better than I am. That's why you hire people that are more skilled than you. And I'm going to go check on the progress of the mob spawner, which we had someone work on tearing down a bit ago. Let me just clean out the top real quick. Then we'll go check on that. Like, what are these? What, what's the point of this? I don't understand. This just looks terrible. Maybe it was the original design and they don't need it anymore. I'm going to sell this. 400 bucks, 3,000, 3,000, another couple thousand. I mean, that was an insane amount of money right there we just picked up. Most of the items that he drops are floating off to the left up in the air. So what I'm trying to figure out is if there's a way that I could put water there to flow these items down and guarantee the collection. I suppose if I had it automatically collect into hoppers, the hoppers could go here. So this kind of works. The hoppers would collect the items that squirt to that side and then start automating it down this path, which is really cool to see. But we also need to fix this side. That way they start coming over this way. We definitely need more hoppers. And the problem is they're very expensive. So I think if I go to the shop and go to buy hoppers, they, they have like a crazy price tag. 50,000 a pop. I don't love this design. I really don't. But it works a little bit for now. It gets us some progress until we get all the way where we want to be. So that's a good start. We massively cleaned this up. It's still not where I want it to be, but it's almost kind of automated so that we can just collect items and make infinite money here. And then when it comes down, we can collect all the good things and start selling them for cash. These, especially the emeralds, are worth a lot of money, but I need a lot more. Now, I told someone earlier to clean up the mob spawner and boy, did he clean it up. There's literally not even a single remnant of it left. So I guess I can cross that off the to-do list for today. We have absolutely cleaned up the mob spawner. The thing is I got 23K, right? I, like I said earlier, the top guy is 74 million. He's like super rich. So getting this and getting the emeralds is certainly gonna help us, but it's not gonna take us to where we wanna be yet. And that's kind of an issue. We don't have the infrastructure yet and that's killing me. Can you pick up the miner and give it to you? Well, I can try, but I'm a little bit scared. Wait, you can, oh God, oh God, oh God. I did this wrong, I did this wrong. The miners actually can be linked automatically to a chest, which means I don't even need hoppers because they can just be linked to a chest. And I kind of ruined it because it was already linked to the top chest and I'm dumb and I messed it up. It was already efficient. It's linked to a food chest as well because these things have to eat. And I broke the food chest. Guys, if you're on my island, listen up. I messed up Wait, with the yeah. miner. I messed up. I, yeah. I didn't realize it was linked to a food chest and everything else. I was trying to make it look pretty. Oh. And I ruined it. Wait, lover, lover, give it to me. I'll fix it for you. Okay, you're going to fix it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get scammed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, okay. Fix that for me. My bad. I, I totally ruined everything, man. I was like trying to make this whole area look good because it kind of was messy and I ruined it all. Okay, wait. Where Where's the food chest? I Well, okay. I deleted it. I, I threw it all off the cliff. <sighs> Okay. Who knew, guys? Who knew it's better than I thought it was? All right. Well, at least I somewhat contributed and made it look good. There we go. There we go. That looks nice. So once I finish this, I'm going to take those daily keys out and open them and see if we unlock something good. And then this could be a little tunnel, right, into some other area. I don't know what, but I feel like an underground railway system would be really useful and speed up the productivity of the server. So I might be investing into that right now. Something like that sounds kind of handy to me. I don't know. So the idea here is that I would have a rail right here, just a very simple railroad, and that would go all the way straight to the other side of the island for a little bit quicker underground travel. So we'll do a rail right in the middle here, a double. I'm going to need to redstone power it. I'm going to need to make a chest here that holds carts because we're gonna need a lot of mine carts and then like a button to start it. It's just, you know, it's just the start for now. Oh yeah, they see what I'm doing here. I hope they like it because I feel like this is gonna really speed up the old ability for us to move from one place to another, boys. Guys, what do you think of my rail system? What do you think? Good idea? You guys love it? You guys love it? Yeah. That's it? That's it? What are we gonna use it for? How is this gonna make us money? How's things going back on the base? How are we looking? awkwardly quiet here. Do you guys just conspire to say nothing when I join? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so we made a we challenged ourselves. We said like the first person who speaks owes the last person to speak yeah. two mil. Dang, okay, okay. But yeah, the railway system looks great. Okay, so we have infinite lava coming in right here from the lava that's above. The lava goes into buckets for infinite stuff there. This guy is now mining. He should be auto-linked to the chest now. Now I did it correctly, where that automatically goes in, because I was an idiot before and didn't realize that. And I feel like this is dangerous to me. Let's make it safer. Let's improve it right now. Let's go to the shop. Let's spend some money on buying some wool. I do like the gray carpet. So I'll buy a stack of these. I'm curious if I can just cover this up and make this more of a usable space. Like if you can walk up here and you have more range to move, it doesn't look so bad. Can I actually cover this whole thing up? Dude, I oh God, no, not that. I must buy a bucket of water now. Finally, I'm gonna cover these up. Now, can he still mine if he can't see them? Oh, he breaks the ore. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. You've got the actual walkable space now. So you can literally maneuver around and it's very convenient. 
fun and friendly. So now that we can actually use this upstairs space, we can break this and kind of split it and connect it to the other zone and break all of this bull crap here that looks terrible. Now we're talking. All right, I'm gonna need more carpet. This is so odd looking, but I think it's gonna be so effective once I get this idea out. It's looking a little bit better, boys. The water one kills me because I misplaced so many freaking buckets of water. Bro, it's taken me an entire 20 minutes in real life to do this. I am joking. Okay, I have an idea. If I put this minion right here, then I increase the minion's max distance to nine. It's reaching all three of these generators. Then I put the other one over here and it's reaching both of these. And then they're automatically mining every single one of these ores. That is the idea here. And then we can run across it and collect the items that we're missing very easily. So what I want is one here and then that's gonna reach over to here. So the next one would be here. Okay, let's clean this up. Now it would make sense to have this extend all the way out to where the minions are. Oh, it's raining. I don't like that. Just like that, and fill it in with these. That looks like a hundred times better. Now we've got this little walkway. It's very tight, but I think you don't really need to come down here much because this is where a lot of these um, collectors will be. Now we'll fix this because it's uneven. It's been bothering me for like an hour, and then I'm going to go open those. I've said it a hundred times. I'm going to do it soon. There we go. Now we can walk around the side easier. We have more furnaces. It's a little bit more even, not perfectly even, but it's a little better. This path looks good. Upstairs should also be about ready if this guy has linked them correctly. And it does seem like he's working. So all of this is now running into here. It's taken me forever to get this thing set up again and improve it. The problem is the stacks of copper really don't sell for that much money. So really it's just, a, that's just to cycle through the copper because there's so much of it. What we really want are the emeralds because I believe these sell for a lot. Thousand dollars, thirty dollars, hundred dollars. I mean, that's just literally free cash. So we can use that money to put it back into buying more miners but really what we need to do is set it up so that we're not getting the stupid copper like that's the problem i feel like while we're here making this look better i should add like a little bit of a wall around the edge here something like this would look kind of good so I'm thinking what I could do is literally enclose this, make it a full house. That's gonna not only keep it safe from monsters at night, but also look really good, but it's a mega project and I don't know if I have enough resources to make that happen because I really want to. I feel like it would look pretty sick. All right, how long do you guys think it'll take me to go through this many stacks of slabs? Let's find out. Bro, that literally took so long and I still have 41 of these left, but I feel like that looks a lot better. I think it's a better use than what we had, at least originally. And now some of the other guys are coming and helping spruce it up. Imagine what this looked like before compared to now. Now it's like a literal kind of beautiful looking island. Hmm, the ladder takes us to the roof now. <laughs> It's not exactly the idea, but that'll do it. Let's go down here and see if we got any money to make. See, now what we need to do, this is a little tedious to come through and collect every single one of them. So we need to automate this as well. Definitely starting to see the money flow in now, which is great. Guys, it's time. Let's open these crates real quick. I got three keys from three days of playing and uh, I'm gonna hop on up here. And where is the daily? It is right here. So here's all the potential items we could win here. A lot of these are worth some good money. Some of them are worth insane money. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. A beehive? Okay, you know what? Wait a minute, that's actually legit. A music disc, which is totally worthless, and one more. Oh, we got, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got the freaking shield. We got the Loverfella shield, baby. Let's go. Uh, I don't know what this is worth. Is this worth a lot of money? Bro, I'm gonna buy a bee for a thousand dollars because that seems like a great price. Why are bees so cheap? I think someone put the bees in for the wrong price. I just bought two bees for a thousand bucks. Then I can literally go and collect my bees, put them in the beehive that I just got, and then we can have pollinators and we'll grow crops even faster. Bro, this is sick. Let's go, Let's go baby. This is gonna look so good. I'm gonna put it right up in this tree, right here, hanging off the side, right there. I cannot believe that I just stocked up our beehive with two bees, bro. That is absolutely amazing. Flower there, flower there, flower there. I think we could do with a few more flowers, but I'm honestly really happy just to have that one hive. That's such a small addition, but it felt great. Now, I would say, you know, our money is $17,000, but I would say this island is well worth a couple million at this point. So I'm gonna say our net worth right now is pushing like three or four million. And it's hard to say if it is, but you know, if I did, I would say it's about three or four, which puts us in maybe seven to eighth place. So we're not doing bad. We have a very good system right now. It's hard to say though, if that's an accurate net worth or not. All right, I would say we cleaned up the messy areas pretty well. We really honestly focused a lot on this this thing to make money so we can do the rest of the stuff. So here's the plan. Players are going to come to my island from all around the world. They're going to spawn right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them walk straight, take a right. And as they walk this way towards their new home, where they might buy a place and live, they also will be faced with tons of casinos and shops where they could do shopping. Okay. So this looks a lot better. And I even have some lanterns to put on here. It's got like a little farmer's market kind of vibe, which is what I was going for. And I just need to make sure we can now trap people here, which is actually kind of hard to do. You see, if we can go for these natural barriers here by putting dirt up, oh, it still doesn't look great. 
late, but it's not as bad. Okay, this looks a lot nicer. So now when players spawn back here or whatever we make it, I'm hoping we can make this spawn like in this area. They're going to be able to go left to our zoo, which I'm going to charge a mission for. Then they're going to go right and they're going to see my chest shops where we'll sell items to them. And I'll stock that up in a second. Now we just have to finish the path and lead them all the way down to the skyscraper. Guys, we need to hire someone who can help us build the new Lover Industries world's best skyscraper. I want someone who is a good builder who can come in here and help me create a massive money maker today. Yeah, I was a junior builder. Bring me in. Crazy kid, you want this job? Yes, sir. Crazy kid, you've just been invited to officially be hired on the Lover Fella LLC, world's biggest skyscraper build. Come on down this way. Uh, here's the goal. We're going to create a giant skyscraper right here, and we're going to charge people to live in it. Zach, how much per room? A uh, million per room is the idea. We're, we'll do it to the highest bidder. Would like to buy a room? We haven't even constructed, but we'll take pre-orders as soon as we get the basic building out. Pre-ordering. I'm pre-ordering. Okay, okay. All right, so they're going to spawn in right here, guys. So I got the chest shops there. I'll fill them out. We need like a reception, you know, reception desk as well at the front desk there, crazy kid. Wait, what, what blocks do I use? Keep it looking farmer like a lot of stone a lot of spruce wood a lot of grass a lot of hay and then uh casino wise poison uh, you know we're gonna put it over here somewhere so maybe you could extend this out just somewhere along this little walkway okay we're making a lot of investments into people because each one of these guys i hire owns a percentage of the island so it's gonna hurt our bottom line but i think when we open this up and have like a constant influx of money not to mention that this has been running for multiple days and if you don't know what this is look at how sick this is this miner automatically mines blocks that spawn from these cobblestone generators and then the blocks literally go inside of the oh god we have a lot of money each one of these is worth how much three thousand bro we are about to make some bank up to 38k already now this is not gonna really help oh god look oh my I can't even make this up. This is so much money right now. We actually made $50,000. That's the benefit of this, right? You just make money for doing literally nothing. Let's see what else we got down here. What can I sell? We need to have like a great product and I'm not sure what. What is this? Yo, this is extreme. Well, I think I know what I'm going to sell. Let me clean the inventory and I'm going to run down there and collect some of that because I think that'll be some good money makers. Copper is kind of a rare resource in Minecraft. And because of the fact that we seem to have unlimited copper down here, I could sell this and make how much each? Bruh. Yeah, they're not worth that much, but I feel like I could also craft it. What can I make with that? Cut copper, some lightning rods, copper slabs. You see, my idea is one of my shops will be a full on copper shop, which I feel like is a block people would want to buy for decoration purposes. So our first chest will be a copper chest. We're going to do all the copper in the world and it'll be right here. So what I have to do is just load this chest up with some copper prod, actually all the copper products. So I'll sell cut copper for 50 per copper. This will be 250 per lightning rod. I don't know if these prices make any sense. This guy wants to communicate with me. I want to buy island. For two million? Nah, 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 nah. He only has two million dollars. He wants to buy the whole island from me right now. But I think he sees what we're turning it into. He sees the potential. All right, check out this money maker. Cobblestone. All right, cobblestone's rare in Minecraft Skyblock. And so if you go to the Minecraft shop here and you want to buy cobblestone, they're 200 each. So I'm selling mine for 150 each, which is a major discount. So now players will be more likely to buy it. Now I want to buy some hay. I'm trying to give us some details because like these little tiny details go a long way in getting the sale. And then we have all of these animals. So I'm going to make this a petting zoo. I'm going to make it so you can buy food for the animals. Obviously, we gotta have farmer prices so we'll do like 500 per week and then what we're gonna do is we're going to say 100 of purchases go towards sheep restoration so now people aren't only being attacked over here by my chest shop to make money they'll also be attacked here on a very personal level because if they don't buy this they're directly responsible for letting sheep die 2.8 million that is the current offer on the island which means my net worth right now if you want to assume that's the value would be about three million dollars our net worth is about the top 20 right now of the thousands that have joined so we're getting there we're doing pretty good on this island but man it's, it's just i don't know if we can do it genuinely if we can make that much money like it's an insane amount to have to make and i'm a little worried about it skyscrapers there casinos here my shops are the first ones they're gonna see i'm almost ready to open it we need a little bit more money makers though i could do something very complicated so here's the idea the way casinos work in minecraft is you pay to open up a chest when you pay to open it it spits out an item what i'm gonna do is make it spit out the door opening so crystals what i want this to do is i want you to hook the redstone up so that when you buy a stick it opens up the door i want it so that people have to pay to get inside uh that is smart. All right. We're going to charge them to walk into their own building. It's a, it's that's how we're going to collect rent from them. It's, it's this is crazy. <laughs> it's a luxury property, though. Remember, this is luxury. Couldn't they just set home in there? Yes, exactly. We're going to let them walk in for free. Then when they move their items in, we're going to charge them 10K each time they go back. <gasps> when they've already moved in, it's going to be too much of a pain to move out. So crystals, that's your job. It's going to make it so much money. If someone needs a job, can you turn the petting zoo into a better petting zoo? Make it look better. I got you. I'm out here just making plays right now. Oh, we're getting a great floor, too, for the casino. We got a lot of people working on the front door over here man honestly just out here project managing everyone making sure stuff gets done look at this so now i'm going to change our spawn this is where players are going to join the island and be greeted with everything that we've made i think right here is a great spot for it so i'm going to do it i think right here 
Okay, so this is the new island spawn. We're gonna put some gates up here so they can't get into our special areas, right? We're going to control the flow of people to make infinite money and take over the world. So what this is gonna be is meant to be like a signpost to kind of point people in the right direction. So... See, look at that. So now the new player spawns, they'll see that sign right there. Then what we can do, we can put another sign right here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. I hope that's not confusing to players because I think that's kind of a cool way to actually like kind of, you know, bring them into the bring them into the old home here. Okay, we've got my head. We've got my branding. People know this is my chest shop. I think people might even be stocking this up for me. No, nope. nope. Crystals is still working on this door over here, which is a doozy of a door. But once it all works, they will pay money to access the inside and get their items back. It's literally the biggest scam ever, but it's not really a scam. It's my business. Zach, what do you think of these archways that I'm building at the front of the casino? Oh, yeah, look at this. It's looking so good. I mean, this casino, dude. We're we're about to make so much money. I hope. This area feels like it needs a fountain square. It feels like too empty. I don't know. Something about this just feels boring. I'm gonna try to make a quick little fountain here just to bring it together a little bit. I'm not sure how to make a fountain is part of the issue here. Or it could be a giant hole. I do like the idea of a giant hole. You're walking through just a giant hole. There's gotta be some reason. How can I make money with a hole? Because I, I, I don't know. I like this. Oh, a sacrifice pit. Yeah! Yes! A sacrifice chamber. That's it. Yeah, people need this. People want this. So what this is going to be, guys, is a sacrifice diving board. I'm not sure the exact way it's going to be worked yet. I don't know how this idea came to me either, but what we're going to do is label it. Yeah. Bye. Yes! Look at this. We got him going, guys. And we got an achievement, too. A legendary troll island. I think because of how many people have died. Like, what the... So now this is the sacrifice chamber. People are gonna go here and jump off. And there's actually a legit benefit because if you get enough deaths on your island from falling, you unlock like a lot of money from the achievements. So people are just gonna do this. Look at this. And as you can look at the right, the more experience our island gets, the more members we're allowed to invite. So we have 10 out of 13. I think it's really a nice thing for people to see too when they first show up to the island. You know, you come here, you see the giant sacrifice pit and people know what to do. They know that they gotta jump through. This guy just double jumped in with the 360 double jump to the sacrifice pit. Oh my gosh. I just can't make this up. What a play. I think a big element of upgrade would also be in making the island slightly safer, except for those areas where we want you to die. So here's what I'm going to do. Zach, I have grinded for the past 15 minutes. I would like to give you all the money I've made. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and silently open up the island. I won't tell everyone. We'll just see if anyone visits. So our island's now open, which means anyone can now join the island if they choose to. They'll be able to actually walk here and buy stuff for my shop. We're starting soon. Small. Hopefully we'll get some sacrifices as well. I think there's other ways we could make money. I'm going to buy a hopper with all my money and I'm going to do something right here. Please offer a sacrifice. The lava gods worth $10,000. Got to get their attention. There we go. Please offer a sacrifice. Boom. I come in here. I just literally collect free items. It's literally what it's about. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized these are players that are realizing my island's open and they're starting to join. I better tell everyone. Guys, players are learning the island is open. So make sure that we lock them in the area. They got still getting in. Okay. It's getting a little bit busy back here, guys. I think that maybe we need a better way to keep them out, but that's okay. How do we make it so they can't open gates? They can't, but um, people Wait. opening them and not closing them. Oh, we need a better way then. We got to keep these gates closed, but people will walk through it. Look at this. Look at this. One week later. Guys, it has been an entire week, and this is what the Loverfella Giant Hotel looks like. All right, take a look at how sick this is. I'll show you the casino in a second. It says if you can't pay, you can't can't st can't do that i think that's unfinished but the point is the pay structure does work people will literally have to pay money in order to get inside they've opened it for me right now i'm gonna turn on night vision to give you guys a better look we do have a front desk here and i guess we have two security <laughs> they made the security pigs that's great now the bottom floor is still unfinished but no one's gonna live here and the way this works is we're probably gonna sell each floor for a million dollars and just have a couple people live here you know beautiful view of among us tower out there on the giant tower of infinite money i have no idea how i get six hundred seventy one thousand dollars. by the way i don't did i have that earlier what did i don't even I don't know where that came from. It's been a long week, man. And before I rent that out, guys, there is something new someone on the island built over here. What the heck is this? This looks like another money maker. Yo, a giant castle? I don't even know what this is about. It's like this. Oh my God, what the? Lover fell a beam. Sick. Okay, so if I legitimately want to be the richest in the server and I have just seven episodes to do it, selling for a million will not get me there because I need 200 million to be the first. So maybe we do a bidding. See if we can get a sale. I'm going to say bidding starts at a million. Let's see if we get it. Maybe I'll join chat, see if I can get any like contenders here to want to live here. Price starts at 1 million, guys. Let's have a bidding war here. 1 million. I can get 2.5 million in one hour. We got 2.5 mil guys in an hour. Anyone able to beat that? Looks like Darth, you're our best offer at 2.5. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to give you access now. You're going to get that 2.5. You're going to work there. And if you don't get the 2.5 in one hour, I'm going to send my guys after you. They're going to beat the crap out of you until you get us some money. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm gonna sell it the mafia boss. I'm scared. We have like a shell of a building and a bunch of broken slot machines. So the first thing I want to do is get these slot machines working and get my team started on their own jobs. So let's rally the troops. What's up, gamers? No. All right, guys, everyone who works on the island, we have a job. And that job today is to create the best casino in Minecraft history. I think we need to expand it this way. We got some room to grow here. Or we could expand it down. Let's get a second floor made below this, a much bigger floor. Wait, Lord, so can I buy a floor for two mil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and sell a few more floors real quick, guys. We need to make some more money. We're at 7 million right now. So if you pay me right now, send it over and you're in. All right. Now, in order to make money on this casino, I am only doing high stakes. The richest has 300 mil. I'm not going to beat him if I sell $1,000 per casino gamble. I got to up the stakes. So the first one will be the lowest. It's going to be $10,000. What I'll do is I will put a signed armor in the center of this one. You can see my signature on that right now. And then all we have to do is put a bunch of junk around the outside. This is items that they would win instead of this item. Okay, so this casino is really really cool. It took me a minute to learn how to set it up, but basically you put sticks in this dropper behind it. These sticks come through. Players buy the sticks for $10,000. And when you buy the stick, it actually causes this redstone circuit to trigger, which causes a random item to squirt out of this dropper, which means if you play this for about $10,000 and buy a stick, I get the money. You get a random item. We're up to 9.3 million because we sold another plot. Now all we need to do is advertise this low stakes, $10,000. That's about $2 million for selling these sticks in order to win some items. So not bad. I'm going to set up the next one a little differently. And this one's going to be wild. When you walk over to this shop, and you play, you're playing for these special items called Spruce Log Loverfellas Casino. And the benefit of this is that when anyone wins one of these special items from the casino dropper, which is a one in nine chance, they can take it over to here and I will buy that from them for $50,000. In other words, every time they play, they're playing for a token for $50,000. So now all I have to do is fill the rest in with a bunch of junk. And now this is a fully automated casino that can make a lot of money, especially because I'm going to price it at about 75K. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. No, this math is off. This has to be less than 50. There we go. Now you pay $25,000 to play this casino. And if you win this spruce log, you can win 50k. So it's really set in my favor heavily, which means I'm going to win most of these. See, this is the big money maker: A $250,000 entry fee for a two and nine chance of 500k. We've spent an insane amount of time up here trying to get these set up correctly. It's really hard to make the casinos work and the math work. Let's take a look at downstairs. Wow. Really going all out on this checkerboard theme, aren't they? I'm going to do some changes to the front entrance here just because I feel like it's going to look a hair more luxurious if we're able to like really step it up with some better items here. Like I feel like copper is going to look kind of good with this. And it does. I think this would look good as copper too. Actually, we could scale this up. This one should be nether, right? This one should be like emerald, right? Like we should have full blocks here leading to each section. All right, so we've collected some resources to upgrade the path to get to each of these zones. This one's our lowest, right? So this one will change to coal. 50K is this one. That feels like an iron floor. And then I also brought over some treasure chests. And I think we can put some of these down to really just make it look sick. <laughs> there we go. Now that screams, I got some cash. I'd love to put one more on the outside of the building as well, just to kind of like get their attention and get them to walk inside. And we'll just do it here for now. I just got 16 cut copper stairs. These will obviously fade in time, but it'll give it a cool look. So I want to fix our roof up right now and make it look a little bit more appealing to people so they can come and spend all their money here. But what I want to do to really pull this off is actually do it using redstone lamps because I think those are the classiest of lights and they're really underutilized. So I need to find redstone in our chests. How do you make them again? Glowstone and redstone dust. One thing you don't want in casinos is uh, well, uh, like glass because then people can see outside and they can see how long they've been in your casino gambling. So we're going to break all this glass, fix the entire roof. It's horrendously ugly. This thing needs to clean up. We are not using andesite as a roof. I think this might look a little nicer. So I'm doing a redstone lamp every five blocks so that it makes like a nice little pattern in the sky. I don't really know if it's going to look good, but figure it'll be all right. Okay, the roof is completely remade now. It should look immensely better from the bottom. There we go. That looks really nice. And Crystal's got my idea and is putting down this little pressure plates so that when you walk in, it'll trap you inside. That way no one can come through and steal your winnings. This is really coming together. I believe the casinos are set up. So now what I have to do is actually change this to add in our new prizes. So we're going to start with 10, then we're going to have a 50, then a 1 million, a 150, and a 500k prize. So we organize these based on wood type. It's going to ascend in terms of value. So now whenever anyone wins these special little items right here, they buy it, they get the money back. But every time they miss it, I get the money. So I feel like the casino is ready to give like a little bit of a test run here. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to do a soft open, see if people want to visit, but I won't let them know that way it's like softer. So we're also changing the island spawn from where it was over there to inside the casino to make it more likely the players will jump in and throw some cash down. I think we could actually make a ton of money from this. I got an idea. 
idea. What if I use black stained glass, black out the exit, make people spawn inside of it so they can't leave, and then I'll be forced to gamble instead of looking around my island. There we go. So now when everyone spawns in, there's no way for them to leave. We just need to have some sort of a staff access door that really no one else can get a hold of. Okay, I opened it too early. We actually didn't have the shops made yet, so people couldn't buy anything yet. So let's fix that. Wait, Zach, how did you lose not five mil? Okay. I'm not sure. How did I lose five mil, Crystals? What just happened? Someone took one mils out. I see that. Someone on the island is scamming me. We'll find out who it is. So what happened is we just set up these casinos and had our soft launch, and I immediately lost six million dollars because someone on the island found my secret token back here. They took these out, which is not allowed, walked over to the casino and sold nine of them and instantly stole nine million dollars from me, which is crazy. But the casino is now open, which means we should slowly make passive income as people come play. Although currently we've lost all of our money. The next day. All right, 24 hours later, we've now made $10 million from the casino. So I'm going to jump over here and check out our casino prize chest. And that's not too bad. So we've actually sold quite a few of these that have won. So about 22 people have won our casino. And hopefully that means a lot more have lost. Guys, we have someone in the casino right now. You can see in chat 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That is why we spent literally an entire day making a casino for this to happen in our chat. This dude is gambling like his life depends on it. So what I love is that we're making money from that. What I don't love is that we have other shops that are not being utilized yet. What I need to do then is move my shops inside the casino. So not only am I making money from casino gambling, but also from selling items while they're trapped in there. So we got to be smart about this. So this is going to be set up as a new chess shop. It's going to sell all kinds of different diamond blocks. We'll do selling for 100,000 each for one block. So it's literally a bad deal. It's all about selling the story. We're not selling a product today. We're selling an idea. And the idea that we want to sell is the idea that only rich people can buy this. So this is going to be called the only rich people chest. Only rich people buy here. No brokies. Now, when someone sees this, if they identify as a rich person, they have to buy this for their own selves. And I bet people are going to fall for that and buy it. If they don't, they're a brokey. Okay. So I just told chat my casino's open. Come make money. I I'm getting a little desperate now to make cash. We, we made 10 mil, which is great. More people are starting to teleport in. It's good to see, but we're not constantly making money, which is a problem. There we go. There we go. 25K, 25K, 25K. We just need that energy all day. Maybe we should try subliminal messaging as well. Spend your money here for upgraded gear. Pay us your cash and you'll dash into first place, right? These are just fun little, fun little things that just get them to spend some cash. See, we got one right there. Pay me everything for good karma. I'm sure there's people out there that believe in karma. And so if they see this sign, they might take it as a sign like, oh, I should probably go get some good karma. Someone will fall for it and give us their money. This is a business. Nothing is off limits today. So guys, I actually, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I accidentally paused my footage. And so you missed this entire build, but I created a giant free spleef arena. Now people in the casino can come here and play sp spleef before they walk back inside to the casino and do other things. I also added like a donation station here and I made a really awkward path to get there. I'm going to take that path now. It's kind of a secret path. I made it a little bit exciting, but I think, I think it's good. Okay. And then I can open this up and I can see we have received pretty much junk. So our casino should be slowly making passive income. And I've also opened up the island so players can explore it and maybe donate or buy from my chest shops or just give us money in general. But I have another idea to make money. There is a PVP arena in my spawn. If you're in this area, you can fight other players. What if I do high stakes fighting? What if I take this $10 million and buy $10 million worth of gear and then fight people for money? I feel like we've got to spend money to make it. So I'm going to go to the auction house literally right now, and I'm going to look for the most powerful weapons first off that I can buy. So let's filter by price and see what the most expensive item is. There we go. 250. I'm buying this for 250. I'm buying these legs for 250, these boots for 250. And then I'm thinking an unbreaking five shield is really strong, but that's 700 K. But the thing is, it's the only one on the entire market. So I'm going to actually pull up and snag it. I think this might be a better hat than this one. Cause this also has two custom enchants. It's a very expensive hat. So let's get our items here. Now we are stacked. Oh, we look good right now. I think we have pretty much the best gear on the entire server, but we need a better weapon. So let's see what weapons we can find here. All right. Well, I'm waiting for some nice, strong swords to be listed. These are definitely not strong. What I'm going to now do, I'm going to buy some custom runes. What is for sale today in the rune shop? I'll take that. Take that. Take that. And I will take this. So here's the deal, guys. This, if I apply it to my helmet, gains me permanent night vision when it's on. There's a 1% chance right now that my helmet will dissolve, but I need this. Oh, it's already applied. I didn't even need it. This one has also a 1% chance. It has a 1% chance of pushing back entities while your shield is raised. Okay, see that? Now it's there on guard. So now there's a 1% chance when fighting, it'll push him back. These are all going to come in handy to help us get that win. This one's called Tombstone. While blocking, it has a 5% chance to bury enemies in the ground and apply slowness too. 2% chance of a critical fail. 
That is so scary. Even a 2% chance freaks me out. This one has a 90% fail rate. Bro, that's the worst thing I could ever have bought. And then this one, a 4% chance to entangle damaged entities in an elaborate network of webs. Both of these are not great. All right, people are listing some weapons now. That's not bad for 1.5. I'm gonna take this 1.5. That was expensive. Someone just got a milli from me, but we got this thing. It's like a gun. What did I buy? This is like the weirdest looking outfit ever. I'm like a Roman emperor with a gun that shoots out crystals. I don't even know if that was a good deal. To be honest, it just looks kind of cool. Whoa, one of my enchantments actually causes me to leave a trail of gold on the ground. Bro, we're looking crazy. Oh, this is sick, bro. We are looking crazy. Our armor set and our outfit is literally looking insane. And I still honestly don't feel like I'm prepared to fight some of these players because they got crazy outfits. Okay, this is going to be incredibly expensive, guys. Watch what I'm about to do today. This might be the most expensive play of the day, but it also might be the most worthwhile play of the day. Okay, so we have literally been trying to max out our gear for a long time. And I just bought this. You can see it has just a 1% chance of success. But for each one of these I apply to it, that'll increase it. Now it's four. Now it's 16. Now it's 46. And now it's 70 and it's still not high enough. I literally want this to be like 100% chance. So I'm not messing around. I'm going to buy more of these. We spent $5 million so far. This is crazy. 91% chance of success. I mean, it's not bad, but honestly, at this point, we might as well get it to 100 because I have spent too much time trying to get this to work. 100% chance. So for each hit you land without taking damage, the attack gets multiplied by 20%. That means if we get a few hits massive damage. This is now such an insane weapon. I'm extremely confident that we're going to be able to kill people. This is ridiculous. So what I'm thinking, guys, is we're now prepared to make massive bets of money. Massive wagers. The first thing I'm going to do is literally beg for money. So I basically said, listen, this is my last chance to become the richest. So pay me all your money right now. Oh, someone just sent me a million bucks. That's not bad. There's another million that just came. We've made about $3 million today by literally just begging. Oh, $4 million by literally just begging for money. So guys, I've done some research now on a couple other money making ideas. And what I'm going to do now is do with the most requested ideas on the server, and that is make infinite cow spawners. Here's the idea, guys. If you go to the shop, I guess you can buy a cow spawner. They're $39,000 each. So I'm going to spend $2 million to get a stack of them. That's 64 cow spawners. And now, now we're, we're going to place them for their eternal, eternal suffering, suffering right here. And you see, as these stack slowly over time, it also rapidly increases the speed with which they spawn. We can actually start killing these cows and see if a stack of 64 cow spawners, which literally creates insane high numbers of cattle, gives us the money they're saying. Some people are saying up to 10 mil every five minutes. I could have just been trolled though. Wow. Let's see how much this is worth. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I just did all of that. And I made about $10,000. And if you do this like a couple times in a row and you get a couple more of these and like we do it again, this is worth another $4,000. Like that was it. Boom, $4,000. Like it's a quick, why are these coming out of nowhere? The problem is, is, I spent 2 million on this. And so if I do the math on how long it would take me to get back to the point where I make the 2 million back, it's extremely slow. I don't have time to do this, which makes me feel like I just lost $2 million. I mean, it's not bad, but I feel like to get to the point where it's actually worth doing, if I invest literally all my money, that'd be really risky though. I'm going to buy more. I just have to. I feel like this could really be good. 64 more for 2.5 mil. Let's get to it. Because I wonder if we could get like a stack of like 10,000 cows and just keep stacking them. And then one hit makes us $200,000. Dude, we can stack over a hundred cow spawners. Are you kidding me? That is going to be some serious money. I just don't know if we have time to do it because today's our last day to make it. 1,000 cows. Now that concerns me because that seems like a limit has been hit at a thousand. <laughs> now that is some easy money, folks. Problem is, it's not exactly the fastest ever, but I think if I could get it to instantly make a thousand of these, then we'd make some real cash a lot faster. Still though, like I can only do this so long until I realize it's worth $5,000 every time I get a stack. I invested 5 million into it. How long is it gonna take over here killing cows to make my money back? The problem here is this is inefficient. If we industrial revolutionize this by buying a sell wand for $1.2 million, this allows us to right click and instantly sell everything thing in a chest. So for example, if I walk over to this, watch $12,000, $23,000. You see what just happened right there? You literally just click on it and it sells everything inside, which is really cool. So if I can somehow kill these cows or have them fall to their death into a hopper system into chests, they'd automatically fill up and I'd come and sell it over time. That's what we got to do. So now 192 cows spawn in here. And all I need now is a way to kill them and automatically move them into the crates. So that is the tough part. Okay. Here's the idea. I want to put some grass right in front of this. That's where the cow will spawn. I'm going to put a plush pressure plate on it. And then I want the cattle to step on that pressure plate, which then triggers a redstone circuit, which would then cause a piston above it to push the cattle down to its death. So basically it would spawn, fall, die, hit the hoppers, and I could start selling them fast. Nice. I'm going to put my cow spawner here. Then the redstone will be facing the piston like this. 
You know what? It actually did push it. <laughs> it did kind of work. The thing is, though, I didn't kill it because it wasn't high enough. And that should be fairly easy to solve. I think all I have to do is um dig this down just a little bit. One hour later. All right. So, guys, take a look at how sick this is. So, now the cows instantly spawn, instantly fall down. They die. Then all the items that they have go to this hopper system, which then leads down to here. And as this gets full, I can click it once with the cell wand and make money. So, now we automatically make all the profits from the cattle. I don't have to worry about selling stuff. I can just come in here and sell it once. Boom. $1,000. So, that is actually incredible. So we'll let this thing run its course, not to worry about that for a bit. And now we have thousands rolling in every few seconds and it only cost me $10 million to make, which doesn't seem like a great deal when you think about it. Guys, I'm literally losing hope right now. Like all my ideas are running out. I don't have enough money to wager right now because I spent it on this cow machine, which literally is making us no money. I think it's time for a Hail Mary play, guys. I'm going to try to sell my island, use the money from my island to gamble in a wager fight. And that's literally our last hope. If that doesn't work, I will fail this challenge. So we'll be back in 24 hours to check. All right, guys, it's currently 3 a.m. and I just woke up because I need to make a deal with a player who lives on the opposite side of the world to sell my base. Currently, we have literally no money because I have actually wasted it over the past several days working on upgrading my island to make even more. And now I'm going to go through and try to see how much money I've made the last few days. Hopefully it's several million dollars because if it's not, then my odds of winning this are going to be extremely low. If these aren't full, I swear to God. Oh my God, I left it for days and it's not working. This is a disaster, folks. All right, let's jump in chat then. Since it's 3 a.m. though, I'm going to try to get them to all send me their money again. So I literally just said, hey guys, send me all your money real quick. We'll see if we can get it all. Oh my God. Someone actually just sent me $60 million. Bro, that just straight up put us in ninth place on the richest player lands. All right. You know what? He sent me so much money. I can actually just sell my island to him, which means we have officially sold the island and everything in it. And I think we definitely pulled a profit at 60 million. And now I'm going to sell it to this rich man in a suit with a cow skin and we're going to lose everything. This is a big deal. So I'm just going to do what I have to do. We just made $6 million, upgraded to netherite, and realized that all my other ideas were total waste of money, which I shouldn't have done. My hotel really didn't pull off money like I thought, and then our casino, of course, made a little bit. But I think it's time now to do the ultimate PvP battle with the ultimate gear that we have been collecting over weeks and see how much money we can make. Now, guys, I am currently at the PvP arena, so what I want to do is uh, invite a couple players here, and I would like to determine if I can slaughter these players or not with these items. But there's going to be a swarm of players after me, so I don't know if I can take them all. Come on, guys. Y'all scared? Got our first taker right here. Dude's not even in full freaking netherite, so. Uh, should be a pretty easy dub here. Oh, he's got a freaking magic shield. Don't even... All right, what's going on? Okay, oh boy. Now, see, this is the thing about this uh, arena here is that there are a lot of special effects. Like that. And I just don't know which ones are mine, which ones aren't mine, because there's so many. Bro, we are slaughtering people. We are slaughtering people. I'll say it. I'm a PvP god with the, this armor. I'll say it right now. I'm a PvP god with this armor. I mean, this is uh, this is just unreal. Oh, this guy gives you blindness with his weapon. I'm not a fan of that, to be honest with you. Uh, this might be our first death, potentially. This guy seems pretty strong, but we'll see. He's kind of two-fisting weapons. I don't really like that. It feels kind of weird to me. We're getting, like, quadruple teamed here, to be honest. Okay, okay. We're getting, like, pentuple teamed. We're not making any money. It ain't good. To be honest, the PvP idea that I built up for multiple episodes uh, <laughs> feels like a giant flop because uh, nobody has the money to bet it, and I feel like that guy is way better than me. So clearly selling the island did not generate enough money. Clearly getting up at 3 a.m. to try to meet an Australian player who's online and, uh, you know, has all the money and try to get it from them. Guys, I don't know what to do. We sold the island. We only have what's in our inventory right now. I sold everything in it. I, I, I don't know. My only other option then is to just start selling things in the AH and wipe my inventory clean. Like, I guess I could sell this gun. I'll sell it for 30, all right? I'm going to sell this hat, which seems pretty song. I don't even know what it's worth. I'm just going to start putting in extremely high prices. Maybe I can sell enough items that I can make the money back. Okay, so now I have about $150 million worth of products that are on the market that will be there for the next eight hours. And if one of these mega rich players logs on and sees it, they might buy it. It's been over 24 hours. All right, let's check out the age. So I have them listed for 24 hours and not a single one of them has sold. So come join the server right now. Start your own series. Earn the YouTuber rank. Become a player on the world's greatest Minecraft server. Most importantly, guys, drop a comment for what series we should do next. We may have failed this one, but it doesn't mean we'll fail the next one. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this series, click here to go check out the entire first trade-up playlist. Peace.